Welcome back to your CryptoPals channel and today I will talk about PancakeSwap and analyze if Cake Token will revisit $44 which was the previous top back in April. In this video I will walk you through the charts and give you an update on the technical analysis where I will dig deeper in the Cake Token against US dollar and Cake Token against Bitcoin. Furthermore, I'll give you an update on recent news and fundamentals such as user growth and I'll have a look at the PancakeSwap roadmap and see if there's anything interesting on their to-do list. So if you think that sounds interesting, keep watching this video and give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, subscribe to my channel and hit that bell icon. Let's start with the growth numbers. PancakeSwap is about to reach over a million followers on Twitter which is a huge milestone. Last time I did a video on PancakeSwap, they had slightly over 400,000 followers and that was in late April. According to DBank, PancakeSwap is at the top 3 list and their exchange is the most used with over 200,000 users in the last 24 hours. And transaction volume is pretty solid even though overall crypto market is bearish, many people use PancakeSwap which is a good sign. It is worth mentioning that PancakeSwap is the top protocol on Binance Smart Chain driving 28% of Binance Smart Chain total value locked. Also, PancakeSwap is the most used dApp across all blockchains. According to this article, they mentioned that PancakeSwap is Binance Smart Chain's golden goose. You can feel the pride from Binance Smart Chain official Twitter account and even CZ, the CEO of Binance, praises PancakeSwap on Twitter. As long as Binance continues its growth and BNB has a bright future, I think PancakeSwap could end up doing well. I believe that both BNB and Cake Token will give high returns in the coming years because people choose to use these exchanges and their services. In early July, PancakeSwap finally released Lottery version 2 back on April 28th the lottery version 1 was paused which allowed them to focus on version 2. With the version 2 they reduced the cost of tickets, now it costs $5 equivalent in cake per ticket. Also you're able to buy more tickets with bulk discounts, the more you buy the cheaper they are. And now you can pick your own numbers and they're using Chainlink to generate the winning numbers, this makes the number generation more transparently randomized. And last but not least, they reduced gas fees with almost 70% lower than version 1. I find it interesting that the price pools are now larger with more people playing lottery than in previous version. If we take a closer look at their roadmap, they have developed most core features. And they have some new features on the list like lending and borrowing, margin trading, NFT based gamification and fixed term staking. I think we need to see more features with a burning mechanism because according to CoinMarketCap, circulating supply is now over 190 million tokens. During the peak in late April and early May, circulating supply was at around 160 million, so it has increased by 30 million since then. So I think new features with a burning mechanism could decrease the supply slightly. Let's move forward to the charts. I'm currently looking at Cake USD chart. Cake token has been on a downtrend since May and is trading below the 50 day moving average. Even though the token has been trading sideways in the past two months, MACD has been trending upwards. And by the looks of it, MACD might enter the positive territory in the near future and that could send the token's price to $20 and $30. On the weekly chart, Strong resistance is at 20 week moving average which is around $19.5 and of course there's more resistance on the weekly chart and that is at $21.5. On the cake against bitcoin chart the token is trading at 20 week moving average which is a good thing and hopefully the trend will continue in the coming weeks and finally make a breakout to the upside. Cake token has strong correlation with Binance coin so when Binance coin increases in value, so does Cake token. In other words, BNB has to make a comeback and regain bullish momentum first and then Cake token will follow. 
by the looks of it Binance coin is building some kind of a breakout here so we might see a bullish breakout in the coming weeks and that will push cake token forward as well so if BNB manages to revisit $690 I think the odds for cake token to revisit $44 are high and if we take a look at MACD on the daily chart it is building towards positive territory so we might see a bull run for BNB and cake token in the near future I did mention in one of my earlier videos that cake token could reach $100 and I still believe that is possible in the future if the crypto bull run continues I think we will see $100 per cake token if not now then probably in the next bull run and that could be a few years from now however I think PancakeSwap must expand its features by introducing new models with burning mechanism so innovation has to continue to drive the demand for cake token let me know what you think will cake token revisit $44 this year make sure to leave your comments down below also check my previous videos on cake token I will leave the links in the description field down below if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it thumbs up and if you're new here subscribe to my channel check out my twitter account if you haven't already and follow me there thanks for watching and you will hear my voice in the next video